Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to go over uh, some comments that I had in my last video. Uh, I asked some people if they wanted me to look over uh, some stocks. And we've got three people here. So we've got STZ, that's Constellation Brands, Snap, Snapchat of course, and then uh, KTOV, which is Kitavo Pharmaceuticals. I think that said that right. I hope I did. All right, just like to remind you to subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications if I have any other videos coming out and then like this video and let's get right into these two stocks. And I uh, just like want to mention real quick, I didn't really dive into these, you know, like uh, companies real quick because I looked at the charts and I didn't really like the setups for a swing trade, but uh, let's do a little chart analysis on these. Let's get right into it. All right, the first one is going to be STZ, Constellation Brand, and they just bought uh, Canopy Growth, a marijuana company, uh, probably for to make infused drinks. And a lot of people were saying that they overpaid for this company, which I kind of think they did. I think it was like $3 billion, something like that, which is outrageous. But in the long term, I do like it in the long term because if you think long term, you know, they're going to make some money on this because this marijuana stuff is just starting to get going right now. And they hopped right into it and they said, we want to get somebody. And they got Constellation Brand. But let's take a look at our chart right here. I got a trend line right here, this red one. And you can see uh, it's following it pretty good. It bounces off it and it can't seem to get over it. Uh, this stock kind of follows the market. But the market's on an uptrend right now. So this stock really isn't following it right now, I guess. Let's zoom in right here. You can see it bounces off the trend line and all of the indicators are way above it. So I don't really like the setup right now for the stock. I would wait for it to get over this trend line and see if it can hold. So like probably around 169, somewhere around there. And then I think it would be a pretty good buy to get into. RSI is kind of high. So let's just wait for it to get over this about 169 hold. And I think it would be a pretty good buy. All right, let's throw in Snap, Snapchat, and uh, as you know, Facebook owns this company, so they have pretty big backing on it. Um, I don't really understand this app, though. I don't like it. I have, I have it, and I use it a couple times, and I'm like, I just don't like it. I just can't get into it. So that's one reason why I wouldn't want to you know, invest in this company, but uh, you can see it. this has been just dumping. It has a high of $14, and then it it's about 613 right now. So this can't get over the trend line either. It's not even close to it, but it's starting to right now. So if I zoom in here, you can see it hit it and it bounced right off it. And now it's right here and it's got to get over all of this stuff for anybody to even think about putting in any money into this stock. So like I said, just wait on this one, watch it. And if it does get over it and if it holds, then I would say go ahead and buy it because then it's going to reverse and start going up. But right now, it's still in a downtrend. I'm going to throw in KTOV. Boom, there she is. And right off the bat, I see this huge pump and dump right here, and I don't like that. Kind of reminds me of a penny stock, which is basically is a penny stock. Anything under $5 is a penny stock. So it's, I don't know. I just don't like this whole setup. Let me zoom in here. All right, well, it's kind of a pump and dump, but it's higher than where it was at, so that's good. Uh, just needs to get over this trend line, and if, if, it, if it can get over this trend line, I like it a lot, but I would just hold off right now and wait and see because it could still be in a serious downtrend. RSI is in the middle, so you know anything could happen with this, but... It needs to get over this trend line. So probably say like, uh, let's see, 148, 149. But it has to hold. It can get over it, but then it could just dump right back down. So I would try, probably give it like a day or two to see if it could hold above this. And then I think it would be a pretty good buy to get into. But right now, no, I would not put my money into this. All right, so that's my stock analysis on these uh, companies. Uh, sorry I didn't dive into it a little bit more, but after looking at the charts, I was like, it's, I don't know, it's not even worth it because I would not put any money into any of these stocks right now. But if I had to pick one, uh, my favorite would be Constellation Brands, uh, STZ. Mm, bless me. Uh, yeah, it probably smells a little bit. But uh, that would be my favorite company to get into because um, they are really big, and I like it a lot. 
I just don't know what else to say about this company, but I do like this company. And um, that's about it. Just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to so get the notifications, and then uh, like this video. I'm out.